What's going on you guys? Brand Rider 1989 coming at you once again. Today is Thursday. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video for you. Um most of you guys know that I have a CPL, a concealed pistol license, and uh I have a Ruger LC9S 9mm semi-automatic pistol. Um you guys have seen that video, you've seen that pistol, um, if you watched my LC9S tutorial. You've also seen another item that I'm going to show you, which is my Kershaw Cryo, uh, which is my everyday carry knife. Um, but in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the different types of holsters that I use and my usual... Uh, self-defense layout I would say uh, these are items that I carry with me when I'm not working or going to work or etc if I'm out on the town doing whatever um, and I feel like carrying these are items that I will carry on my person every day uh, when I f again when I feel like carrying which honestly I don't very often but um like I did the other night, but anyway. Um, so I have a couple different kinds of holsters. One of them I don't use very often, to be honest, but I'll show it to you anyway. Um, let's start off with, uh, again, here's my Kershaw Cryo, and I'm gonna show you in this video where I like to put things when I carry them. This is a knife, but it looks like a very cool necklace, but as you can see, it is a knife. Uh, anyway, so usually I will just put this on and see if I can get it on here. Oh, good. First shot. Okay. So, yeah, this is, I carry this right here like this. And I'm going to take it off because it is a little bright, but that's, yeah, usually that's what I, I'll wear that around my neck. Um, my cryo usually sits, and I'm going to angle the camera down a little bit. Um, my cryo usually sits about right here, and I'll kind of angle it. That way I can just like that if I need to but yeah that's usually on me when I'm not working and I'm just out and about I have that on my person now when it comes to holsters I have three different kinds that I like to use this is my alien gear cloak holster this is an inside the waistband holster so it actually sits and again I'm gonna angle my camera down this will usually sit about right here when I'm carrying but it'll go inside the waistband so all I have to do is and up like that so yeah um, and this is this is custom molded and it's got like I think they call it neoprene on the back of it it's a very comfortable squishy material it doesn't uh, it's kinda like gel but I like this because when I'm carrying inside the waistband, I don't want to end up with rashes. You know what I mean? Because of, like if you use a leather holster, you're likely to end up with rashes on your hip. And I don't want rashes from sweat. So this thing actually has technology in it which cuts down on that kind of thing. Um, that's the one that I use most of the time, this one. Uh, lately, however, I've been using, and I'm just going to show you this one real quick. I'll actually throw it on and show you. But uh, first off, let me just show you um, my LC9S. As you can see, it's not loaded. The magazine is not loaded either. I 
forgot I had to do that. So yeah, it's not loaded at all. In fact, I'm gonna put the safety on just for safety reasons. But uh, the next kind of holster I like to use is this one. And I'm gonna have to fold it up just so you can see it. This is a belly holster. I like to use this. What I like about this is if I had two additional magazines, I could effectively put them right there, but I don't. So, and what I, you can wear this thing two ways. You can either wear it like this, so you can draw from your hand that you, uh, you use to shoot with, um, or, I'm going to have to angle the camera down again. Typically, I don't wear it here though. Typically, I will actually wear this. Um, typically, I will wear it like this. But I'll have it down a little bit. As you can see, the holster is actually a little bit closer and what I'll typically do is I'll typically put it here like that but I'll angle it up some so that if I need to I can just do a cross draw up and out like that um, that's typically what I usually do for when I'm carrying is wear this and I'll usually like if I'm wearing two shirts I will usually take it and put it underneath my main shirt so that it rests against my t-shirt or sometimes if I'm wearing just just like a t-shirt like a normal undershirt type thing like this uh, I will wear a hoodie if I'm only going somewhere real quick like say to the gas station or something I will put that on over my t-shirt and then I'll just throw my hoodie on with it partially zipped down that way I can just you know if I need to I can just quickly slide my hand underneath my hoodie grab my pistol if I need to which thankfully I never have yet the third kind of holster that I own that I've never actually used in my life is this one it's an ankle holster and the only reason I don't use it is because it's made for the right side and I'm a left-handed shooter. But yeah, it goes, this attaches to your upper leg and then this will go around your ankle and you can just carry it that way. Um, but honestly, the two that I would recommend are either a belly holster like this one or the Alien Gear cloak like this one and like I said this thing comes custom molded you can select the type of pistol you have um, yeah so that's basically it and again you can see it's got like little indentures and stuff from where I've used it so much that it's molded to my pistol not just the uh, the holster portion but um, that's typically what I use when I'm carrying. Um, you guys, I would love to hear comments on uh, you know, what you'd want me to do. Um, I know you guys have mentioned, some of you have mentioned to me about Michael and Bridget and their new uh, load of ridiculousness. I may end up watching some of their videos and doing commentary on it. Um, like I have in the past, but I don't know. Um, I'm kind of in this new thing where I'll just make a video about whatever. Lately, like I did a couple food reviews after being gone for a while. Um, but I don't know. Uh, again, um, you know, I thank each and every one of you for subscribing and watching my videos, liking my videos, etc. Um, I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, anyway, guys, this has been my, just my 
tutorial of my self-defense layout and showing you the different kinds of holsters that I use and what I would recommend if you have a CPL. Um, but ultimately, my recommendation to you is find something you're comfortable with because you don't want to be, you know, in a situation where you're carrying a pistol and you're wearing something you're not comfortable with. So try it out, try different ones. If you have a CPL, try out different holsters, find out what you like. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys, this is Brand Rider 1989 signing off. Enjoy.